Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Campus and in this video we are going to learn about maxima and minima of a function. So let us understand the concept behind maxima and minima of a function. Suppose we have a function y and y is a function of x that means y is equal to f of x and the value of this function is 6x square minus 6x minus 36. In the concept of function, we have already studied that the value of y is totally dependent upon the value of variable x. That means for different value of this variable x, we will get the defined value of y because y is dependent upon x. Here x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable of x. So in the concept of maxima and minima, basically we have to calculate the value of x for which we will get the maximum value of y. And in the concept of minima, we have to calculate the value of x for which we will get the minimum value of y. So in the topic maxima and minima of a function, basically we have to deal with the process of calculating the value of x for which we can get the maximum value of y or minimum value of y. So let us see what is the step for calculating the maxima and minima of a function. Suppose we have a function f of x. The first step is we have to calculate f dash x that is the first differentiation of this function f of x and we have to equate this term to 0 in order to find out the value of critical point. We have already learned how to calculate critical point for any function in the topic increasing and decreasing function. This critical point is also known as stationary point. So basically we have to solve this equation for x. And the value of the roots is known as critical point. Roots of this equation, roots of this equation is known as critical point. Okay. So we have to solve this equation for x. And the value of that x or the roots of this equation is known as critical point. Suppose the roots is a1 and a2. Just suppose the roots of this equation is a1 and a2. So a1 and a2 are the critical point for this equation. The second step is we have to calculate f double dash x that is the second differentiation of the function f of x and then we have to substitute the value of x by a1 and a2 the roots of this equation we have to substitute the value of x by the roots that is the critical point by a1 and a2 suppose if we substitute the value of x by a1 and this value came greater than 0 then we will say we have a minimum or minima at x is equal to a1 suppose if we got the value of a double dash less than 0 then we will say we have a maxima at x is equal to a1 similarly Suppose by putting the value of a2, we have got the value greater than 0, then we will say there is a minima at this point a2 and if we got a value which is less than 0, then we will say we have a maxima at the point x is equal to a2. Please learn this concept carefully. If by substituting the value of x in this equation f double dash x by the roots of this equation or by the critical point, if we get the value greater than 0, then we will say that point is a point of minima. And if by substituting the value of x in this equation we get any value that is less than 0 then we will say that point is a point of maxima. So if the value of f double dash x is greater than 0 then the function is minima at that point and if we get the value less than 0 then we will say that point is a point of maxima. So for greater than 0 the value of the function will be minima and for less than 0 the value of the function will be maxima. So let us understand this concept by taking some example of gate. So let us solve some question of gate from this topic maxima and minima of function. So the first question is the function f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square minus 36x plus 2 the question is has its maxima at the options are x is equal to minus 2 
b x is equal to 0 c x is equal to 3 and d both a and c this question came in gate 2004 in civil engineering branch ce for two marks so we have to calculate the point of maxima so let us solve this question okay so the first step is we have to calculate f dash x that is it will be 6 x square minus 6 x minus 36 and we have to equate this to 0 in order to find out the value of critical point or stationary point so by solving this equation to 0 the roots of this equation is known as critical point so let us solve this if we take 6 common here it will be x square minus x minus 6 so if we factorize this the value of this will be x minus 3 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 so the value of x or the critical point r x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 3 these are the value of critical point now the second step is we have to differentiate the function fx twice so we have to calculate second differentiation of this function that is f double dash x is equal to 12 x minus 6 and this will be 0 now the third step is we have to put the value of this critical point in order to see that whether the value is greater than or less than 0 now if we check the value of f double dash x for x is equal to 3 that is we have to substitute the value of x of this equation by the critical point so if we replace the value of x by x is equal to 3 it will be 12 into 3 minus 6 it will be 36 minus 6 it will be 30 so this value is greater than 0 so we can say the function has minima at x is equal to 3 and we have to calculate the maxima so this is not the answer let's check for x is equal to minus 2 so if we replace the value of x of this equation by minus 2 it will be 12 into minus 2 minus 6 so it will be minus 30 so this value is less than 0 so we will say the function had maxima at x is equal to minus 2 so the answer is a that is x is equal to minus 2 so the process is you have to calculate the f dash x first and you have to calculate the value of critical point and you have to put the value of critical point in the second differentiation of this function that is f double dash x and by putting the value if this function give a value which is greater than 0 then we will say the function is minimum that point and if this function give the value which is less than 0 we will say the function has maxima at that point so here by putting the value of this critical point x is equal to minus 2 we get the value which is less than 0 so we will say the given function has maxima at x is equal to 2 so the answer is 2 so let us solve some more question from this topic